Good morning, Grade 12s. We're starting our first lesson on geomorphology, looking at drainage basins. So you've already done this diagram in your books. Um, you need to be able to reproduce this diagram, and you've got to know which each one of these um, these labels are, and you need to know what the definition is for each one of them. So if we go next slide we've got the definitions here we've first got the drainage basin itself i like this term that we've got um here catchment area because it really says what it is it's the space that catches all of the water for that particular river system the watershed we know is the high lying area that separates one of these drainage basins from another Interfluves is also a high-lying area, but it is within the drainage basin, and this then separates one tributary from another. The river system is the whole system of the river, the main river, plus all of its tributaries. The source, important to be able to differentiate between these two. The source is where the river starts, and the mouth is where the river ends. Normally into the ocean, but many rivers do in fact just flow into inland drainage basins. Then we have a nice term down here, confluence. The confluence is where um, the tributaries join. It's actually um, the connection point where one tributary joins into another or into the main stream itself. Here we've got South Africa's most important drainage basins. We've spoken about these already, these two. The green one over here going all the way through is the Orange River. And remember that the source of this river is up here in the Lesotho Highlands. This river is referred to as an exotic river because remember it, especially around about this region here, it carries the characteristics of its source and not the surrounding area because the surrounding area here is pretty much the Kalahari Desert. This one that we've got at the top here is the Limpopo River. We know those. You've got to be able to identify these two systems. Um, if we look here, um, we're talking about the drainage basin being an open system. Uh, what it literally means is that there can be inputs and outputs of the system. So the inputs are all precipitation. Um, and also, in some cases, there is groundwater. And this happens where um, a river's channel goes deep enough to be able to intercept the groundwater. And that, that water that then adds to the river is called the base flow. These particular rivers um, we would refer to in our map work as perennial rivers because they will have water in them all year round. Um, the rest of this, nothing really exciting here. You can give it a read through. Finally, your homework, have a look at this. Please, if you have any questions, give me a shot. Thank you, Grade 12s. Bye.